be honest, how long you've been in the first stage of your business just trying to decide a niche? Today, we're going to solve that in less than 10 minutes so you can finally start moving forward with confidence and having a clear vision and goal for your online business. If you are ready to discover what's the magic and perfect niche for you, for your zone of genius, and you want a workbook that you can take action, work on these reflective questions and find out that specific skill set that can be monetized for the first time ever, I'm sharing an exclusive template that I only give to my students inside the Passive Income Academy. So all you need to do is just comment niche and I'll send you this Notion workbook for you. Most multi-passionate entrepreneurs spend months and sometimes even years just on this phase trying to pick a niche because we feel scared of making the wrong decision. We feel scared of not picking the right, the profitable, the best niche ever. But what we don't realize is how much is costing us not to make a decision at all. Without making a decision and taking action, we can never find out what's right for us, what feels aligned for us. So we just stay stuck in this perfectionism loop, trying to find out the perfect idea, the perfect niche, but we end up not doing anything and feeling frustrated in that dream of having freedom, having time freedom, location freedom, having multiple streams of income. It just gets further and further away from us. Before we dive into this video, I wanted to set an intention that you commit to finding your niche today so you can finally move to phase two. As someone with multiple interests, I like personal development, I like business, I like indoor plants, I like creativity in general, creation, design. It was really hard for me to pick a niche, but one thing that helped me was understanding about the zone of genius. We all have it, you have it as well, and that's what we're going to uncover. This is a concept from Gay Hendricks, and he actually says that your zone of genius is where your deepest passions meet your unique skills because you've got talents, you've got unique gifts that you came to this world with and that's why everyone can create a digital product. I can create one, anyone in the world can create one and they are all going to be different somehow because we all have unique strengths and gifts. It's where you serve not only yourself but others in a way that only you can. And he describes that in four different zones. The first one is zone of incompetence competence, excellence, in the genius zone. This is where we're going to focus on because this is where most of our fulfillment, creativity comes from. And it's that area that feels easy, feels fun. And if you have no idea, that's absolutely fine because we're going to find out that together. And I have three powerful prompts for you to reflect on. And in fact, I actually did that myself as well. I went to a coffee shop and I was just reflecting on these questions. It's really powerful because it really taps on those things that feels easy. So let's get started with the first prompt. These questions that I'm about to share with you, they are the most important thing on this video because you cannot find your niche just asking ChatGPT, otherwise you're never gonna feel aligned. It's not gonna come from you because the magic, the energy, these excitement and creativity, it comes from you. It doesn't come from ChatGPT. So please take the time to reflect on those. You can do on paper just like I did. You can do a notion, wherever you want, just just take the time to answer them. Question number one is what did you want to be when you were a kid and what parts of that still ignite your joy today? This is where you're going to tap on those experiences that were very natural to you. I actually wrote this when I was doing these journaling prompts. I remember that when I was in school, when I was very little, I used to finish my homework very quickly and then I would go and help other students, my friends, to finish as well so we could play. And also I loved to play that I was the teacher and I was like the guide and it's so interesting because those things still bring me joy today. Question number two is what kind of work can you do for hours that you even forget to eat and that it doesn't feel like work? It doesn't have to be just one thing so here for example I added way too many things. I like to create slides, educational materials, workbooks and I love to learn, I love to design pretty things so you can just like add things that really bring you joy that you just like you can do those things and you forget to eat time just goes so fast 
Question number three is what kind of creations or ideas have others consistently praised you for and what impact did it have? Take your time in reflecting these questions because we're going to need that information when we go to chat GPT. Once you decide your niche and start growing your online business, eventually you're going to need a website where you can host everything in one place. And a tool that I am loving right now is Everbee Store because especially if you do have an Etsy shop already, is the easiest way to convert your Etsy shop into a fully fledged website. So you can not only make more sales, but also keep more of your profits. Another thing that I love about Everbee Store is that it's AI powered. So even this information that we are collecting here, your niche, your positioning, your unique selling point, all this information you can just package into a PDF and add into this AI brain that is going to help you create descriptions, titles, and optimize your website. If you are interested, interested in knowing the step-by-step -step how you can do that I also have a video on my channel so you can dive deeper I'll be sure to leave my link in the description where you can get your first month for just one dollar AI Notion we are gonna copy this AI prompt right here which is the AI prompt that we're gonna be using and remember that if you want to get this exclusive workbook that I only give to my students just comment niche and I'll send that over to you now we're going to go into chat DPT and I'm going to be using the all free model and I'm going to paste the prompt. I'm also going to be deactivating the memory so it's not biased. I'm just going to fill out these uh, brackets with your own information. So for example here, I've always been drawn to let's say teaching, designing, um, coloring you can add more specific things as well so for example i really enjoy creating slides and educational materials like online courses workbooks videos people often praise me for helping with so you're gonna list here what are the themes what are the things that people tend to say that you do really well unique aesthetic and just remember to activate the search mode so it can actually access internet to find information. So it's coming up with some ideas. The first one is guided coloring for burnout relief. You can identify the problem, why it's in demand, why AI won't replace it, and how you can differentiate. But this is something that I'm not personally interested at, so let's just go to the next one. Uh, the visual course lab for non-designer non educators and creators. That sounds interesting to me. Okay, if you don't feel aligned or excited with any of those ideas, so what I like to do in that case is to ask ChatGPT to give me more questions so I can, it can basically pull out those answers for me. Okay, so here I said, it'll be great to have something that is aligned with what I already have created. Difficult to help women living abroad um, and that want to create multiple streams of income using their creativity and making an impact. I also have a YouTube channel and a signature course where I help students launch their own template shops and start making extra income with their skills. So remember, the more information you have, the more, the deeper you go with your desires, what really makes you feel excited, the better the answers are going to be. So let's just see how that I got a little bit more specific. The answers are so much better it gave me a market snapshot of the market that i am in and also gave me really good questions so if you want to go and dive deep into the questions and it's just gonna bring more clarity and ground yourself in that idea one thing to keep in mind here is to not spend too much time here just talking talking because it's going to give you endless information. Just try to pick like one idea that you feel excited about and niche down and start um, getting like to the bottom of it. And at the end, just ask ChatGPT to give you what is your niche statement. Okay, so let's say I go with this um, women abroad kind of niche. Uh, it gave me a final niche statement, a unique positioning for me to lean on. So it's a way that I can differentiate myself in my business and a one-liner that I can use on my website and YouTube 
So this is a great example of something that would feel really exciting for me if I was starting like a business from scratch. Um, that would be something that, yes, it feels exciting for me, it feels unique. So I hope that helps. And now let's go to the next step. And as a multi-passionate entrepreneur, I know you might be thinking that picking a niche might limit you, might limit your creativity, but it's actually going to help you. It's going to make you more creative because once you know where you are going, who you are helping, and and how you are positioning yourself, it's so much easier to come up with ideas that are not just going to help you, but also is going to help other people and help you grow your business and have more freedom. But the point is, you're never going to find out and get clarity if you don't take action and put yourself out there and try and pay attention to how your body feels, how excited do you feel on that niche. And this is something that no one can do it for you, not even ChatGPT, not even the best business coach out there. This is something that is so unique to you, so unique to your gifts and your purpose. And remember that your niche is not set in stone. You are the business owner. You are the CEO. You are allowed to, to change whenever you want to, to pivot when things are not working or when you don't feel aligned. But you can only pivot and change and improve something that is already in movement. So that's why picking the niche helps you get more clarity on your next step. It also helps people when they come across you on social media or on your shop to feel that resonance. I connect with this girl, I connect with this person and cheese for me. Allow yourself to make a decision and allow your niche to grow with you because this phase is not about perfection, it's not about polishing something, it's all about getting started. Here's a quick to-do list to finally find your niche in less than 20 minutes. The first thing is to reflect on those questions that we talked about earlier on. Then you're going to use the AI prompt that I gave you and basically AI is going to organize all this information and give you some niche ideas and you're going to pick the one that makes more sense to you. Next you're going to choose one niche idea and you're going to take one small action that can be updating your bio on social media that can be putting in your calendar what's the next product that you are going to create anything that is aligned with that niche one small simple action if you'd like a notion workbook to put all this into action right now just comment niche and i'll send that over to you once you decide your niche your very next step is going to pick one tiny digital product to create and for that you might like this video where i give you free tiny digital product ideas that you can create and start selling if you manage to make at least a little bit of progress with this video don't forget to celebrate yourself because you are doing it no matter how small you are doing it you are making progress and that's the most important thing thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye